Mike, obviously an opportunity to come back to Western Canada. It's uh, close to your heart and, and, and good to be here. Well, obviously for me, I mean, I know a ton of people here now. My mom and dad aren't alive anymore, so that's a little bit different, but uh, got lots of family and friends. Uh, you know, I, uh, I coached at Redder College just up the road to, uh, uh, for a while, coached the University of Lethbridge in this area, so I spent quite a bit of time working for Hockey Canada here. Uh, so I spent a lot of time in Alberta and obviously enjoyed it. I'm from Saskatchewan, but uh, it's great to go west. You see from the Goodrilla Monahan for Land Line that Calgary's had going here. Yeah, I mean, uh, lots of challenges from them in, in general, just as a team. They're a good team and uh, they're playing well. Uh, they got a real nice back end, real active. So he's done a nice job for them in net and then, you know, good balance up front. But obviously, that line's on fire and uh, they do a real good job. Uh, the three of them together, uh, you know, two real heavy guys and then uh, a guy who flat out just. Uh, you know, fun to watch and uh, actually fun to pre-scout. He's doing a lot of good things out there. So it'll be a fun game for us. Uh, today was a good practice for us to get in here altitude-wise, and the ice wasn't great, and so it was good work for our guys, and we'll be better here tomorrow and get ready for the game. Does negating an opponent's speed just deal with what you talked about last week, keeping the puck in their zone, I guess maybe establishing a forecheck and keeping it there? Well, obviously, anytime you spend time in the offensive zone, is you don't have to worry about them rolling around in your zone. And, and they can really transition the puck here, this team, and get on the rush and have active D. So it's going to be important for us to play well. And saying all that, uh, we're not bad either. So we're going to create some problems for them as well. And uh, ideally, we both play good, and the best team will win. You mentioned the other day about Larry Tannenbaum, how happy you were that uh, the Argos did well, and now that he's won, I guess you're... Well, I just think, you know, um, Mike Illich was the same in Detroit as... as uh, there are people that when they touch something, it turns to gold and uh, huge hearts and love with their city and, and can't help but just keep giving back. And so Larry, to me, is, is an absolute gentleman. His family's spectacular. It's not hard to figure out why he's had success, but for him to, uh, you know, keep doing great things for the city of Toronto is a lot of fun. And any time you're around winning, that's a real special thing. And so obviously a good example for us. It's great they were able to after that with their opportunity and it looked like a lot of fun. Last season Mike Goudreau had his hand broken by one of the slashers that they're trying to take out of the game now. Do you, do you think that's worked for skilled players? Has it created a little more opportunity for them around the league to show their stuff? Well, you know, I'm not 100% sure. I mean, I, there's no sense letting slashing on the hands go. It, it made no sense anyway. You're a better player with your stick on a puck anyway. So, uh, so why wouldn't we eliminate that? No different with contact, the head or all those things. So to me, those are, are real positive steps, and you want to keep doing that as a league and, and keep crack down. The other thing is you want good players on the ice. Have you seen any of it creep back, the slashing? Well, I don't know. I, I'm not here to evaluate what's going on in the league, fellas. Mike, what led to the uh, Leo Nazem showdown? Did you ask him? Yeah, what did they tell you? Been chirping each other for a long time. And yeah, we just had a little derby there. It was yeah. kind of fun, actually. It was good. Uh, you know, they're they're good buddies and they're hard on each other. They abuse each other. It's great and good entertainment. And so that led to more entertainment. A little, little entertainment never killed anybody. So did you expect on that result? On a related topic, uh, Barry Trotz said the other night that one of the underrated things about your team is that getting the puck in a, in a situation where you can win that race to the decision line to negate icings. Uh, how effective is that? And uh, is that sort of underlying the work some of your guys do in the summer with Barb? Well, I would just say to you that uh, it was nice of Trotsy to say something nice. Uh, appreciate that. Thanks, Trotsy. Uh, you know, I mean, all of us, the way the league is now, the league's so tight, you got to find a way to create space. And uh, you know, one of the things Goudreau does real good is create space by getting out of the zone. Uh, you know, some nights it's very effective. Uh, some nights it's not as good. And, you know, obviously the other night it wasn't good enough. Did you expect a result in that race? Were you surprised at all? We were. I think I think uh, you shouldn't ask me any questions. <laughs> <laughs>